<clears throat> hey everyone, um, it's about 20 to 3 on Friday the 10th. I am just going to see Liz at hospital as usual. Um, so I've <clears throat> just had some messages from her. Um, her uh, she had an ECG recently, that was normal, so that's good. Um, she is going to overnight feeding on, on the tube. Um, this is partly in preparation for installing her rig tube into her stomach. Um, so basically that means during the day, between 8 and 4, she won't have a feed going in. Um, which I guess will make it easier for going to the toilet and back because, you know, we won't have to unplug her. And like I say, this is in preparation for the rig, which is happening a week today. Um, my boss Damien was just here and took me for dinner at the Spruce Goose, which is a beef eater um, place here in Basingstoke. Um, I, I always have a little bit of a freak out when he's coming in case I'm in trouble or something but no as always everything's fine um, he's very very nice man very wise paid for dinner I had uh, chicken goujons to start with and then a very nice burger with some chips and beans and then I had a cheesecake with crunchy bits on like a, as in Cadbury's crunchy it was very nice but yeah um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to need to go to the Citizens Advice Bureau uh, now that we know what the diagnosis for Liz is and see what uh, we might be entitled to in terms of aid or benefits or whatever, really. Um, now, that's in my local library. Um, so I might try to find some time next week, possibly in an afternoon, to go and see them after work one day. Um, but, yeah... Um, I don't think I'll be able to afford not to work, um, but obviously they've got, I've got all these things in my mind at the moment. I've got this massive list of unknowns that we are gradually ticking off very slowly one by one. Um, <clears throat> so that's where we currently are. And also um, things are happening quite fast today. Um, <clears throat> the other day on Facebook, I saw uh, some pictures of a guy who had been flying his drone in Basingstoke. And I happened to say, oh, um, I'm having trouble finding a place to fly because you know none of the parks and he said he said what are you talking about there's loads of places i'm like okay so anyway um he might be uh meeting up with me after i've been to the hospital today and possibly showing me some places i can fly um don't know might not happen but it would be nice um so it would be nice to get some flight time in might be nice to meet up with somebody new, somebody who can teach me and tell me what the hell I'm doing wrong, you know, flying into the ceiling, all that kind of stuff, haha. -ha. So yeah, um, watch this space, that might be happening. Um, you'll know because you all have, well, you won't know yet because you haven't watched the whole video, but you'll probably know by how long this video is, whether or not there's any flight footage in here. I don't know yet, you see, so I haven't done it yet. So yeah, um, so lots happening today already. It's an absolutely, beautiful day it's really really hot um, so I was waiting for this lady to go past so I can park this is quite a nice parking space being very near the entrance to the hospital and uh, yeah I've got a few things to take indoors to Liz uh, I haven't got the ink cartridges yet for her pen they might be coming tomorrow Anyway, um, fabulous day. Uh, my watch, therefore my phone, says it's 23 degrees. My car, having been parked at the beef eater for a little while, said 29. I don't think it's 29, but it is warm. I am overdressed, but I always am. So, you know, I could make it cooler for myself, but I don't, and I won't. There we go, we're parked. Um, and now I'm going to go in and say hello to my lovely wife. See you in a minute, maybe. Hello. So it's the evening now. I'm at home, obviously, on my bed with penguins, as you can tell. Yeah, um, <clears throat> very nice evening. So um, spent, obviously, a few hours with Liz at the hospital took Anthony back and um, we went out to Downgrange and met up with a gentleman by the name of Barry who is the aforementioned guy in the previous clip uh, who was very kind to sort of show me some tricks on the drone what I'm doing wrong and basically give me the confidence that I needed um, so you know 
We took the propeller guards off. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, we thought they were, well, Barry thought they were catching the wind a little bit. So um, put the drone up to 120 meters, like amazing. You can barely see it up there. Um, he had his own drone out and I've got some footage of, so basically I've got some footage to follow of, you know, some of the shots that we took. Um, there's a section where his drone is kind of looking at mine, that kind of thing. Um, Anthony flew the drone for a little bit under my supervision. Um, yeah, it was absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm going to stitch the footage in after this and then there'll be some sort of, um, photos that it also took. And then if you're friends with me on Facebook, um, there's like a fully 3D spherical panoramic image that it's amazing, right? The technology, the drone 120 meters up, took 35 pictures, and stitched them all together in one panorama, like whilst it was up in the air, just like amazing. If you're on your phone and you see the image, you can sort of rotate around, it's, it's really cool. So yes, I'd like to say thank you very much to Barry for giving me a bit of confidence in flying the thing um, and sort of teaching me a little bit that I should probably have read the manual, right? Um, there's a couple of things I've got to do. I need to sort of calibrate it properly and stuff like that that I haven't done before. But yeah, I, I, a lot more confidence, I think, in flying it. So um, without further ado, I am going to stick those clips on now. <laughs>
enjoy what I do here, although I can't think why, please remember to click the like button, smash that subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. You might also want to check out my website, www.worldsbestestpoet.com, if you fancy a laugh.